All right, you guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. We're down here at Anzac Oval, and we're about to have a kicking challenge of sorts, okay? This white line you see here is the 55 yard mark. The red line where the footballs are is 45 yards. And the white line in front of that is about 30, 34, 33. So with that said, I'm gonna have 50 attempts, okay? This is not only gonna be, you know, a bit of fun for my channel, it's also gonna be, you know, a bit of a, uh, a bit of a CV, a bit of a resume type video. If it goes well, who knows what might happen. If it goes terribly, it might never make it to YouTube, but it probably will because I'm all about, you know, showing this, this journey of mine into the sport of American football from the absolute start, including absolutely everything, every drop, catch, everything. And that's exactly what I've done. So nothing left to do but to do it, guys. I've got my water, I've got my coffee, I've got my boots, I've got my music. It's gonna be sick. We've got an absolute stunner of a day. It's fucking beautiful. Let's get into it. So one thing I did want to say and address is people were saying that, you know, I was rushing my, my kicks when I did my, my last attempt, which was also my first attempt ever. Rugby player kicks first NFL goal. No, rugby player kicks NFL goal for the first time. That was the video. I had a lot of fun, that's why I'm down here again to do it for the second time. And the third and the fourth, up to 50 goals today guys, hopefully. 50 out of 50 would be nice. I'm hoping for, you know, it depends where I take it from. Do I take it from 30? Do I take it from 40, 50, 55? I think I'm gonna mix it up. What I was saying before is, the reason I was rushing it is because I was trying to simulate in a, a game situation. I thought you guys would give me respect for that. But in reality, it was, um, it was absolutely not necessary because obviously the ball snapped for me, it's put down for me. All I have to do is, is sort of get set, get in a position where I can get the most force possible out of like two to three steps. And you know, I honestly think that getting set and doing that and getting into a rhythm is gonna be better for my kick. So um, it's gonna be interesting. I, I haven't actually done that yet. So you could call this, you could call this video the first proper NFL goal but you know basically the last video was kicking a rugby goal with an NFL ball uh, but I uh, didn't title it like that anyways guys look I can't wait to get into it let's do this I'm not gonna rush it this time I'm gonna I'm gonna get set you know if the ball's there I'm gonna come through like this so what's it gonna be what's it gonna be I don't think I even need to run into it. I could probably step into it and get pretty good force. So let's do this. Close. That's two out of three. Let's continue.
Alright guys, so as you may or may not be aware, I don't know if, should, you know, uh, no, I will. I'll include every single kick I've taken and that is absolutely terrible guys. Anything over 45 yards and I just can't hit it because I'm concentrating too much on trying to get enough power rather than, you know, just my, my natural technique. So, but what I have created is, is a nice just two step into the ball, which I'm happy about. So we're going to continue that. We're about to do the 50 yard kick, 55 yard, for the third time. Let's hope, let's hope we, uh, we can um, get something out of, the, out of the book. It's not curling anymore because of the fact that I'm slightly tilting it to the side. And you know, I used to do that when I used to kick in rugby. Um, especially down at the field when we didn't have a tee and we used to use our shoe. I'd take my shoe off, put it in, put it in my shoe, but have it tilted like this. So I could just come through, just whack the shit out of it with my sock on. It feels nice kicking a ball with socks on, but this is too hard. A rugby ball is not too bad, but um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna keep going. Done about 10, we've got 40 more to go. I can't leave without doing 50 kicks. There's no way, there's just no way I can leave. I don't want to leave, it's fun. But we haven't been going too well, that's the thing. Guys, we're gonna call it there. This is gonna be called Jakey McDonald wide receiver training or football training day six because right now I'm gonna run some routes because that is all I want to do. I want to run some routes and practice catching a ball. And I'm down here by myself, so the only way I see myself doing that is punt the ball up, run my route, <laughs> and try and catch it on the full and then run with it. It's gonna test my catching ability, it's gonna test my agility. Um, if the punt's really bad, I'll just try and catch it. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I just want to run around. I'm over kicking. It's not working today. I'm just going to call it a day and uh, not disappoint myself any, any further. So I'd much rather run routes. Let's do that.
I seriously, I don't even know what I'm doing, guys. But what I do know is that when I've got the ball in my hand, that is when I have the most fun. No fucking doubt. No doubt, man. I just love it. When I see that ball just bouncing in front of me, my it's like drugs. It's like cocaine. It does something in my brain. I just get I just need that. I need to get it and run. That's how I feel. Just a little bit of real talk. Let's do some more. Why not? So one thing I just wanted to mention, you guys can tell me if I'm full of shit or not, but when I step, right, you know how I run through, I give a one, two, three, and then I give another one, like, I'm not doing those, out, you know, out of muscle memory, I'm doing those when and where and whenever I want, you know, I'm basically imagining defenders coming at me and trying to step them as if, you know, I can sort of imagine that, I don't know, it's probably because I've been in that situation so many times in rugby, but, um, you know, when, you've, when you're stepping right, if I'm coming around, if you're the defender and I'm coming around this way, and I've got the option of, I want, I want to basically hold you in your tracks whilst I do something. Either I continue going or I step inside. There's three options. I can continue going with a goose step. That's basically a dead leg. That means that you, you slow down, but then you continue on in the same direction with an explosive burst of speed. Basically to slow the defender down, make him jitter like that, but in the meantime, like he doesn't know whether you're going to go inside or outside. In the meantime, you know that you're going to continue going on the outside, in which case you might get around him. The other option is to step inside. Instead of doing a, well, you can basically just do a one step on the inside, but to make him get really off balance, to, to sort of get him thinking, do a three step uh, side step, where it's one, two, three. It's not just, it's not just one on the inside, it's, Boom, boom, boom. And that'll just, um, you know, basically put him off that little bit more. It looks flashy, it's nice, and when you, if you can sort of, um, if you can get, you know, get that muscle memory going with that step, do it on the other side as well, left, right, left, right, left, right, uh, combined with speed, you know, when you've got that option to either do the dead leg and continue going, or step on the inside, or look as if you're stepping on the inside with that one step, but then go, bang again and don't do that third one so you do continue going but you do a little in and out so it's either coming up to the defender I'm coming this way I'm either gonna go like that for a goose step oh we'll do it back here you're the defender I'm coming up like this I'm gonna go okay that little hop in the air is gonna hold you up enough for me to get enough time to then boost around the outside I can either do that or like this Okay, so that's a uh, 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 to get inside, or do the first two of those three, like that, just to put that defender off. You know, so you go uh, uh, going that way. It's the same outside. Uh, okay, if you want to continue with that one, it's like, and then you've got the goose step, of course. Like that. Okay, so that's a little bit of story time. That's just a little bit of, you know, that's that's what, that's the kind of shit that I would coach. I would coach every single back, well, back in rugby, but um, you know, every single skill position in football to do that. Okay, I would. That's it.